Our vegetables travel just three miles from the production fields at Columbia's Agricultural Park to the refrigerators of the Central Pantry. The Central Pantry serves over 10,000 people each month and is run by the Food Bank for Central and Northeast Missouri. Everything grown by the Columbia Center for Urban Agriculture is grown sustainably and delivered to Central Pantry so it can be used by our community. Basil is a wonderfully fragrant and flavorful herb that is part of the mint family alongside rosemary, sage, and lavender. Fresh basil has a very good source of vitamin K, which is important in healthy blood clotting. A simple way to include this tasty herb is in an easy pasta dish and as a garnish. Let me show you how. First, let's talk about storage. A bunch of trimmed basil stores best in a glass with water. Think flour base and leave it on the counter. Unlike parsley and cilantro, refrigerating the basil can actually discolor the leaves. So it's perfectly fine to leave it on the kitchen counter. It will last for about three to five days. When ready to use your basil, gently wash under running water. Then pat dry with a paper towel or a clean kitchen towel. Or a salad spinner can also be used. Just give it a few good spins. Remove the basil stems and stack in a pile largest on the bottom to the smallest on top. Then you want to roll the leaves and cut into thin strips. If smaller pieces are desired, run your knife over the pile again. Then set aside. Chop one cup of cherry tomatoes and half the remainder. Finally, you can chop the garlic or you can use a garlic press like I have here. It makes the job so much easier. Mix olive oil, garlic, and salt in a bowl. Add the tomatoes, letting the mixture sit for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. While the mixture sits, cook the pasta according to your package instructions. Once your pasta is done, drain it using a colander and reserve about a half cup of pasta water. Combine your pasta and tomato garlic mixture in a bowl. Mix well. Then add your basil, and if you want the mixture to be softer, add pasta water. My pasta turned out soft, so I'm going to go without. This dish is simple and delicious. Leftovers can be served cold as well. You can find this and other simple veggie pack recipes at the Central Pantry. Take some home and try new recipes today.